Hello everybody, welcome to a JV Game, JJ Gaming and Things tutorial in Brick Rigs, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a custom thumbnail for workshop creation. I'll be showing you two different ways. One is the Paint 3D method, and one is the one that Batteries did in the guide, but I've sometimes figured out that it's easier to show rather than tell. So, yeah. Here we are. So recently I just picked out some furniture from my houses and made this stupid little furniture prop pack. Um, I'm intending to upload it here sometime in the near future. Don't know exactly when yet, but just so you know. But anyway, let's get into it. So, first method I'm going to be showing you is the Paint 3D method. So for that you have to take it out of the editor and here I'm going to god mode and then you just use the insert button to take a picture. I'm trying to hide the clip from that microwave thing. But anyway you press insert and as you can see down there in the bottom left it shows you a little picture and there you go. And make sure that you have it titled in here what you want it so it's easier to find. Alright, so now we have to go to Paint 3D. And I will show you what to do once you get there. Alrighty, next step for the Paint 3D method. So you got to go down here, press this little button, and then go. Here you got to press, get the percentage button. So shift and then 5, app data. And then you have to do that again. Click on it. Go over here. Press app data up here. Local. Brick rigs. Saved. Thumbnails. And then you have to find it in here. So furniture. Prop pack. There you go. Now you can go here. Right click. Edit with Paint 3D. And this is the way that I used to do my thumbnails. Now I've switched to the other way. And I'll show you guys that way in a second. But anyway, here we go. There. And remember, this isn't like HD or any, anything, and it's not highest of quality, which is why I do it the other way. But this is also the quicker way. So you can go in here, type in your stuff. But one thing I do like about Paint 3D over the other way is that you can make it middle like that. And there you go. So if that's how you want to do that, all the power to, to you, I guess. Then you just go over here, press save. And, and also something I figured out, you cannot do 3D text with this method. Just something that you should keep in mind. Alright, so now let's switch over to the next way. Alrighty, so here we have the way that Battery showed it in his guide. Again, sometimes easier to show rather than tell. So what you want to do here is you can leave your insert style thumbnail in there so that so everything that we did before up to once you press the insert button stays the same so now we go over here and you want to make sure the object itself is centered in the middle of the screen because you'll see pretty as you'll see why pretty soon and then you can f cam around this when you, you're not just limited to the normal camera you can free cam press f12 or whatever your steam thing is for screenshot there you go. And, yep. Now I go out here. And that's all you have to do in the game itself. And for both of these, I should mention, that you don't have to exit out of the game to implement them. It doesn't show up in the game until you do that, but it's still in the files. So if you upload it, the thumbnail will still show up that way on the workshop. Alright, so let's go back and I'll show you how to do this way. Alright, so we are back here, and so what you got to do first is you got to go and find the original. So there is a screenshot folder but I, in here that I have up because I've used it so many times. But what you can do is you can go to content, and screenshots, upload screenshots, and then you can do the show and disk like that. That is the main way you can do it un unless you've used it so many times to where it shows up over here. So what you want to do is you want to go over here and find your screenshot. It's going to be a lot higher quality, so a lot more gigabytes. 
press edit. There you go. Notice HD, lot higher quality. Go to select, and you want to make it a square. The easiest way that you can tell that, of course, is down here. Once those two numbers are the same, you have a square. And what I've sort of figured out, it's around the star area on the thing there. If you want, if you have it centered, that should work pretty well. Probably bring it over a little bit more. There you go. That, you can adjust it in here, but it just makes it a lot easier when they match up, because then you don't have to mess with any of that. 512, they will equal themselves out if you leave the maintain aspect ratio on. There you go. Now, some people will leave it just like this. This is a good thumbnail in itself because it is very high quality. But what you can do is you can go up here, mess with any of this stuff. There's a lot more options for you to use in here than Paint 3D. But anyway, go here. And the font that I normally use is Georgia. But of course, that's up to you. I occasionally use Ink 3. And then we could probably make our font a little bit bigger here, so let's go 50. And keep in mind that you cannot center things like you can with Paint 3D. Which is a little bit of annoying, but I can live with it. There you go. You can put your brick count down there. But anyway, there you go. But instead of just saving it, now you have to go here. Press save as, PNG picture, anything else will not work. Over here, and you need to save it as the exact name as what you saved it on in Brick Rick. So in this case, it would be furniture, prop, pack. Save. There you go. So now you got to go in here. You most likely saved it in pictures. That's what I do. You search for it. Go here. Click on it. You want to copy it. And then go back to your app data. I showed you how to do that earlier. Here in thumbnails. And then paste it. You'll know if it's if it's not right, the like right file name or the right type of file, because it won't give you this replace file. You want to, you want to replace it. And there you go. It will automatically implement itself in the game for when you go and upload it. Alright, I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions on this, feel free to leave me a comment. I will do my best to answer it. I'm not the greatest in this game be the first to admit that well I don't know about that I'm I'm not good at this game at all really compared to a lot of other people but I'll do my best to answer and I have some people that I know in the game who could probably answer it a little better so I'd be able to get them to help you if need be but anyway yeah see you next time